Hey everybody, Cody here, and today uh, we're going to do our dad painting, and we're going to talk about something I think is really important, and that is pleasing everyone and how you can't do it. But before we do that, let's talk about the colors. So we've got kind of a, well, a darker, I don't know if you want to call this like a, not a fuchsia, but uh, well, I don't remember what color this was. <laughs> reddish purple. I don't think it's fuchsia. I think there's another name for that color and I just don't remember. But anyway, then we've got pink, we've got white, we've got gold. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, right over there we've got white, right over there we've got gold. So anyway, those are the colors we're working with today. So we'll go ahead and get started and put our paint on the paper and then we will start squishing it. Now, before we, now as we're doing that, uh, one thing I want to talk about is the fact that you just can't please everyone, so you should not try, all right? And the reason I say that is because, all right, I do these videos, and there's mainly two types of people that comment on the content. Like, there's people who are very supportive of the type of painting that I do, uh, where they, you know, and I know some of you, I've, I've, have been watching for you know quite some time months if not you know a year a couple years whatever and I really appreciate that and I appreciate all the feedback but then I also get these other people that don't uh, don't like the videos which is fine I'm, I'm not mad or anything like that everybody's entitled to their opinion and I think everyone's opinion is valid up to a point uh, but people just that don't really like the content they say why do you keep doing the type of same types of paintings or you know why do you do the Pollock style sometimes but not all the time and, and then there's people who hate the Pollock style paintings that I do because they think I'm just trying to copy Pollock and I'm not really doing my own thing which I am doing my own thing so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense um, but anyway my point out of all of that is that you just you can't sometimes you just can't win and you can't please everyone so ultimately what I would say that it comes down to is kind of finding either a balance of you know doing stuff for other people versus doing stuff for yourself or if you really you know have the guts just do what you find is best only and that's it now for me something like with this this YouTube channel I kind of try to break it down evenly not evenly but I try to break it down it to where some of the content, the content, you know, me painting on camera is for you guys. It's not for me. Like, there's no reason for me to record it for me to watch. Unless I wanted to see how I did a specific technique, right? But mostly, I, I record the paintings for you guys to give you inspiration, to talk to you, things like that. Well, sometimes I do, the, I do a lot of these dab paintings because this is my technique. This is something I've developed over time something I'm very happy with and the other style is not mine so the whole you know Pollock style and stuff like that that's not mine right but people come to the channel for the Pollock style paintings so because of that I want to get more you know I want to do that for people I want to be able to provide those types of videos but that doesn't make me happy doing those Pollock style paintings. So it's like, it's, a, it's balance, right? It's, I do a lot of these paintings because this is my style and I'm proud of it and I enjoy doing them. But I also do, you know, the Pollock style paintings, like say at 1500 subscribers or a thousand or whatever, every 500, because that's what other people enjoy. And I want to do things that pe other people enjoy or they're not going to you know, watch the videos in the first place, right? So it's kind of a balance between those. Now, I could just do what I want all the time, um, but I think people would get tired of that and people would ultimately, you know, they would leave, which is fine. Again, uh, I understand that. But again, it kind of comes down to a balance. So just really with anything, that you kind of have to have almost that mentality with anything that you do where you have to decide what the most important thing is for whatever it is that you're trying to do. Maybe you're just trying to live your life and you know you have too many people giving you input on your life and how to live your life. And I think that a lot of people are 
well intentioned. I, I really do. I think that a lot of people they think that their opinion is probably the best advice that you could get. And obviously we all know that that's not true. But I think a lot of people, when they give their opinion, they're, they're being genuine. They think that whatever they have to say, you know, matters that much that you should only listen to that. But the problem with that is that, you know, just because someone's being, you could be genuine, but, but wrong at the same time. You know what I mean? You could genuinely believe what you, what you say, uh, but that doesn't make it right, right? And so you kind of have to take what people say with a grain of salt. And that's, you know, true with this channel. You know, when I first started the channel, I used to get kind of upset with some of the com comments that people would leave about, you know, that my Pollock style paintings were, I'm just trying to copy him and, you know, I wasn't really doing my own thing. Or, you know, when I started doing these dad paintings, people didn't like them or they, some people still don't. Or they just ask for more of the Pollock style paintings. It's like some people only want that. Some people don't want those at all. It's so weird how there's such a, a variety of, of people's tastes and opinions. But I think it's great, right? But coming back to my previous point, you know, sometimes you just can't win. And you can't please everyone. So you really have to decide... You know what is what is it you're trying to accomplish so for me I want to I can't please everyone I already know that but if I can try to find a balance then I think people at least understand that I'm, I'm trying to keep myself from burning out by doing content I don't like the Pollock style paintings all the time but also to show them that I do care about what they want by doing them some of the time does that make sense so I find that this is pretty true with a lot of people's lives and, and the things that are going on in their lives. You know, sometimes we just give people too much input or, or not enough into our lives and the, and the things that we're doing. And so it can be dangerous to not ever listen to advice ever, especially if someone does have, you know, some kind of unique perspective that would help you. But at the same time, so I think the, the bigger problem of not listening is the other way around, that we listen to too many people's opinions and, and thoughts about the way that we should do things. And so we, we kind of get lost and, and sometimes we get anxious or depressed because we, we've taken in all this information, but we don't know what to do with it. So ultimately, it comes down to, you know, just doing what you feel is best for your situation. You know, you're not going to make everybody happy. So you may as well just find out what it is you're trying to accomplish with whatever it is you're doing and then kind of decide from there who it is that you're willing to to listen to or to make happy as opposed to everyone. So for me, I don't mind anymore if people don't like my content because they could always leave. I'm not holding them at gunpoint to watch these videos. So... They're definitely welcome to leave. And I think a lot of the people that leave negative comments, they don't tend to subscribe to me anyway. So, you know, it's a it's kind of a win either way, right? They just want to say their thing and then they want to be on their way. That's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. I'm not mad at them. But I, I no longer am going to let those types of people decide, you know, how I make content. It's just, it's just not fair to me or to them, really, because if I just base... Uh, what the, the type of content that I make based on one person, it just doesn't work. Let me give you an example. Some of the people that watch my videos, including Relaxation Media, who has commented on almost all of my videos, so I really appreciate that. But he talked about how you know he didn't like the music in some of my videos. And I, I call him out specifically because he said this over and over again. And at first I was upset. But then, as other people kind of started saying the same thing, oh, I like hearing the narration, I like, you know, listening to how you do stuff, stuff like that. As I heard more and more of that, then it kind of became a collective thing. Okay, well, obviously, maybe that's the direction they need to go because that's what people want. But again, it's a balance because now I'm narrating the paintings as I go, but I'm doing paintings that I want to do. So again, it comes to the balance, right? So you either just please only yourself or you please, you know, a select group of people that really matter. 
Um, or you just kind of find some balance. And really, that's kind of how everything is. You can't worry too much about other people's judgment or direction for your life because ultimately you're just going to be unhappy. If you do everything everyone else always wants, then you're not going to be happy. But if you only do the things that you want to do and never think about anyone else, it's going to be very hard for you to achieve anything because nothing great was ever achieved alone. So that's just kind of how life is, I guess. But ultimately, this is the uh, this is the painting. It tore, it tore a little bit on the side, which I'm a little disappointed about. But I can kind of cover it. So, you know, it's not like I'm just covering up my mistakes. It, you really, once this painting is uh, framed, you wouldn't see this stuff anyway. So it's not really that big a deal that I'm touching this up. I'm really just doing it so that the painting will reach to the edges. Because, um, like I said, it's going to get matted anyway. So it's not really that big a deal. There is a little bit of pooling here. It's not too bad. Um, I don't like it when it pools, but sometimes there's just not a whole lot I can do. There is a couple of spots without paint, so I'm going to move some of this paint out. Just using my finger to kind of dip it in there and pull it out and I didn't want to disturb the gold but I kind of want to bring some of this gold out it, it's kind of like secluded here in the middle so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of just tap it into some of these other colors to really just bring it out right so I probably should just use the tip of my finger and just cover up any of these spots that didn't get the paint which sometimes happens all right so i'm going to take a look make sure that it all it's all good the gap right there right there and i think that's pretty good so overall solid piece i believe i uh, i do like the colors and i think that the design turned out actually pretty good it's probably going to pull a little bit so i might run it under the heat gun just to Kind of get those that paint to set real quick. Let me show you guys the final piece. So screw back here and take a snapshot. <clears throat> All right. Well, you know how my light is always never good. So just kind of go over it here so you can see some of the, the finer details. You can see the swirls. A lot of swirls on this right side over here. But uh yeah, I think it's a solid piece. Let's see if I, if I go down, can you see it any better? A little bit, but oh well. I think it's okay. I think you guys get the idea. Anyway, that's it for the video, guys. I will catch you guys in another one. Take care. God bless. Bye.